We have a ton of ground to cover in today's episode. Eight matches remain in the opening stage of the Primera División. Plus, we have the small matter of a Copa Costa Rica final, a trophy that has eluded us so far. We've got Cartagena and a whole lot more. And welcome back, everyone, to episode number 67 of the American Dream. I am Mr. Cellophane, taking a very quick look at the league table with eight matches remaining. We sit on 35 points, just a slim three-point lead over Alajolense. But as you notice, we have three games in hand by virtue of all of that extra football we have been playing both in the Cup and in Central America as we look to take the victory there and advance to the round of 16 in the CONCACAF Champions Cup. So we've got a lot to go over today, so let's go straight to the highlights. I do want to start out by saying that all of the highlights you're about to see take place over the course of 12 days. We needed to get things off to a good start against Punta Arenas on the road. Sadly, that wasn't the case. Great ball over the top, Ali putting it past Buheni. For the goal in the 17th minute, we would get one back a little bit later on off the head of Freddy Gonzalez, his fourth of the year, and we would make it 2-1 before halftime as Vitan Tusha with a beautiful ball into space. Ofori is there to put it home. Early in the second half, looking for more. Hugo Cordero, his second of two assists, finding Vitan Tusha on the back post. 3-1, and once again, off of the corner. Freddy Gonzalez, his second of the night, fifth of the year. Man of the match performance for Hugo Cordero with those two assists. Diego Moreira, Alejandro Braun, obviously picking up one apiece off of the corners as well. Followed that with a visit to our home stadium by A.D. Sarchi. Vitan Tusha feeding it to Edward Lopez, his first goal in quite some time. He wasn't offside on that one, although he did have a second goal called back. In the second half, another absolutely dominating performance on the pitch where we just squeaked by with the victory. 18-2, to two, the shots on goal. Not a single shot on target for A.D. Sarchi, and yet it always felt like we were just a couple of seconds away from giving up an equalizer. Things took on a very similar feel in our trip to Grezia as we could not get out of second gear in the first half. We laid into the team at halftime, and, well, they paid off. In the second half, Sekaria picking up a goal just a couple of minutes into the second frame and a cheeky short free kick makes its way to Ramirez who slots it home to make it 2-0. It would be three when all was said and done. Great ball into space to Eduardo Cordero slotting it home, picking up an assist from Lopez. And what turned out in the end to be a very comfortable 3-0 lead on the road. We did lose Andre Castro in the 70th minute. He will be unavailable for selection in today's cup final. Both sides have played it very cautious as we met up with Herediano once again. It would take this ball just outside the six-yard box from Sekaria in the 88th minute to break through on the tie. A cagey affair all around but our third consecutive clean sheet in just six days. Would we be able to make it four in a row? We massively rotated our squad, didn't want to play Ramirez on the left wing, so Steven Alpazar got the start, and he paid us off in spades in the 14th minute, putting Saprisa up 1-0, but a great first touch by Camacho, and a pass into space to Viniegra, wide open goal, tied things up, and ruined our bid for a fourth consecutive clean sheet. But Eduardo Cadero would pass it up to Juan Diego Zacaria, who would score in his third consecutive match. And Saprisa would claw our way to a 2-1 victory. Five wins in a row since last episode. And while we've only made up two of the four games in hand we had coming into this stretch, we have increased our lead at the top of the table to 12 with just three matches for us left to play, one for everybody else, so we are pretty much guaranteed a spot in the grand final again. Oh, did I also mention that we are in the midst of an international break, and for this cup final, we do not have a full complement 
of players. That means Diego Rivas is getting the start in goal. Our back four is going to be Michael Sambertaro, Freddy Gonzalez, Danny Coronel, and Hugo Cordero. Valverde and Brand will man the midfield. Ofori is going to take over at the number 10. We've got Vitan Tusha on the left, Jose Pablo Espinosa on the right, and Juan Diego Secaria leading the line as striker this afternoon. At least we have most of our guys in place. Cartagena is coming in not exactly in the greatest of form. Only two wins in their last five. They were in their last two matches. We, of course, are on no less than a five-match winning streak. I forget how far back it goes, but we have won all five matches that you have seen the highlights of so far in this episode. So let's call it five, shall we? And Cartagena with the initial highlight of the match, six minutes in as Parks moves it up that left wing side, runs into a bit of traffic uh, with Espinosa on his tail, drops to Luis Carlos, Sanchez in the middle ahead for Alfaro, finds Jimenez, Jimenez finds the back of the net, and Roger Jimenez opens up the scoring with his third of the year. It's Cartagena one, Saprisa nil. I think in general, though, we are going to be okay because... This would not be the first match where we have fallen behind. We got as far as the final in the Copa Costa Rica last year. You remember we ended up losing that one to a team that we had beaten a n uh, number of times during the course of the year. Hopefully the same does not happen today. Ofori with a blast from just outside of the box. And that is going to sail high and out into the crowd. Our first Shot on goal of the match. We would add another. Just two shots apiece. One on target apiece. However, Cartagena has made theirs count. Corner kick, though. We are excellent on these brands. Sending it in. Oh, my goodness gracious. Just a bit too strong on the header. Not finding the target, which is a problem that we have had intermittently throughout the season. Sam Bataro from the other side. This time, Daniel Coronel powers one home, is fourth of the year, and we are tied at one. We have made set pieces a cornerstone of our game, and once again, they pay off for us. It's Cartagena one, Saprisa one. Free kick, Secaria feeding it through. Comes to Freddy Gonzalez. He is going to score. The flag stays down. It's 2-1. And what a way to end that first half. We ended up with the final four shots of that half and the final two goals, scoring in the 40th and 45th plus three minutes. Not sure the best way to say that. I don't want to say the 48th minute because it's still the first half because then if we score in the first minute of the second half, we're scoring in the 48th minute and then in the 46th. Before I confuse myself any further, let's move on. I found success recently with... Not being too overly positive, not being super negative, but not being overly positive with the team, regardless of the score, at halftime. So we talked about how disappointed we were with the possession. Cartagena with a beautiful opportunity to score uh, 50 minutes into this match. But it is deflected behind by Rivas, which will lead to a Vila corner, which he leaves short for Jimenez. Throwing it toward the back post, Valverde will handle that easily and head it away. Lopez has it for Cartagena, but no further activity on the offensive front, at least in that play as Cartagena once again with the ball. Barakal sending it forward, picked up by Valverde. Secaria quickly to Tusha, pushing it deep. Tusha can't get his first cross in. Second one, Valverde will launch it. And a great scoring opportunity that goes a begging, but yet another set piece. It's a free kick. Alejandro Braun across for Ofori. He will chip it in and chip it home. His 17th of the year. Braun with the assist. It's 3-1 in the final. I guess for all the players that we are missing on our squad, and again, our bench is rather depleted of first team players as a result of the international break, but if you're going to have Ofori in the lineup, then that kind of makes up for it. Ball headed away. Espinosa's taking it up that right wing. Does get a defensive shadow. Able to get it free for Valverde along the edge of the box. Played backwards. Bran. Ofori. Back to Bran. And he roofs it. Second goal of the year for Alejandro Bran. It is Cartagena 1. Saprisa 4. And we are going to get some of the tired legs off of the pitch as Esteban Cordero comes in. Alejandro Bran has had an excellent match, but he deserves a rest. So, uh, Steven Aquista 
is going to come in. Akista's played a lot, so even though he was available, we wanted to make sure he got just that little bit of rest. And Michael Sambataro is going to come in, Aaron or out. Aaron Vieira in. He'll swap places with Freddy Gonzalez, who will shift off to that left wing. Espinosa with it again, dispossessed by Parks. Sanchez looking to send it up. He's got Jose Alfaro back for Sanchez. Valencia back to Barakal. We're not putting on a ton of pressure, but we are getting into the passing lanes and we are stymieing the offensive efforts of Cartagena right now to very good effect. Let them have all the possession they want in their own end. And just as I say that, they get the ball free to him and as out wide to uh, Munguia. Usually on the right-hand side, he's on the left this time. Back for Parks. Luis Carlos trying to find a bit of space into the middle. Vila with the shot. He'll tuck it inside that far post. His seventh of the year to bring Cartagena's back within two. But it's okay. We still have the tired legs out on the pitch. The changes had not yet taken effect. We're leading in shots on goal 13-8. to 4-2 on the scoreboard. And that is the most important as time is running out for a potential Cartagena's comeback. Paveda, though, saying... Don't tell me the odds. Alfaro to Cayasso back for Sanchez. Cayasso once again, he'll leave it for Barakal in the midfield circle. Barakal dancing with it. Cayasso steps past his man in Gonzalez before laying it back for Valencia. His pass forward will be intercepted by Tusha. Valverde double teamed, loses the ball. Played forward. Coronel gets his foot on it back to Vila and Adrian Vila will... Last one home is eighth of the year, and it's a one-goal match. So, as always, we are going to demand more from our team and hopefully spur them into action. Five minutes of added time at the end of the second half, but it's not going to be enough for Cartagena to complete the comeback. We were up 4-1. Ultimately, it was 4-3. And in the end, we are lifting yet another piece of hardware. For the first time, we have won the Copa Costa Rica after two attempts. We got to the final last year. We failed this year. Well, this year was a little bit different as the team gets to celebrate their 4-3 victory. Second trophy we have won so far this year. Tomorrow, we are gunning for our third. And that is in the CONCACAF Central American Cup. We've got the final coming up. I hope you are going to be here for that. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe. If you are new or if you just haven't already, and don't forget to come back tomorrow for more of our run toward the victory in the CONCACAF Champions Cup. I'll see you then. Until tomorrow, bye-bye.